Talking Sex Live is recorded in front of a live audience. This show is for mature listeners only. Hello, you're Talking Sex Live with Chit and Diane. Uh, I am Chit. And I'm Diane. Hey, we are streaming live right now to from our new mm-hmm. parlor. Look at this new parlor that we uh, we got built for us, and we are super proud to uh, to show it to you for the first time. So this is a new setup for us. There might be some technical difficulties while we're trying to figure things out, but as always, we're the same Chet and Diane. We're an unlicensed uh, sex therapist couple that provides uh, sexual advice and our, our knowledge. We haven't had any kind of schooling. We've just had a whole lot of sex, and we want to share our knowledge with the world. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're streaming live right now to Twitch. We're also recording for YouTube and also for podcasts. So uh, if you are listening to the podcast, and you're like, hey, this, uh, this sounds a little different because we all have lavalier mics uh, when I say all. Also, uh, we happen to be near an airport, so as you can hear right now, there's an airplane flying overhead. So there may be a lot of that happening. Maybe some of that. uh, It is Los Angeles, so there could Mm -hmm. be some some sirens or some uh, helicopters flying overhead. Some trains or automobiles. Automobiles, which we watched last night. Mm -hmm. Uh, Steve Martin saying fuck a lot, you know? But uh, we are joined right now by our producer for tonight, Peter. How you doing tonight, Peter? I'm doing great, Chet and Diane. Thank yeah. you for having me. Thank you for this. This is wonderful. What a beautiful parlor you have oh, thank here. You. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, it's it's great to actually be here physically with you. Usually, I'm looking at you from a distance, yeah. but I can actually look right over at you right now, and it's it's wonderful. So hey, hey, yeah. there you are. Look at this. We're in the same room. Oh for my the, gosh! The first time look, since that's we, proof. So for those who don't know, we used to do this show live on a stage. And now uh, when the pandemic hit, and then we did everything virtually, and it just worked out. Mm-hmm. And uh, now we're back in the same room again. Also, we're back with uh, our my good friend Dick Colby, who's not in a dorm room right now. He's actually with us in this room. How's it going tonight, Dick? It's going well. I decided to uh, join the land of adults uh-huh. once again. Uh- <laughs> I definitely enjoyed my time with the twenty somethings mm-hmm. living amongst uh, a, an all male dorm of twenty year old but you know it's good to be with adults as well. Mm-hmm. That is a good thing to do. yeah, uh, I just wanted to point it out we we got some some different features in this uh, this parlor. We have a uh, I guess this is Hercules crushing to your to to Dick's left here. Um, Let's get a shot of that. Yeah, it's Hercules crushing mm-hmm. like Ronin or mm-hmm. something like that. I don't know. It's two wrestlers, Greek wrestlers. We also got a, a nice butt over here. It's a butt Very base. Very nice butt. Uh, mm-hmm. it, it's it's a nice curvy butt. Yeah. Uh, what are we calling her that that butt right there? Buttrella. Buttrella. Okay. And then to our right, we have a very beautiful woman mm-hmm. who's on the wall here. More butts. What are we calling this one? A lot of butts. <laughs> and a lot of butts. Uh, this is. This is Kim. I don't know. Kim's not a great name for uh, for a statue, but uh, then Peter. I think I think Kim is an understated name. Yeah, I think it's a good selection Kim's there. Great. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Good we have shot. Some more on my shoulder. Is, uh, Peter, do you, are you able to turn the, your camera to see that picture oh, there? Let's see you, here. Let's see oh. how how well we can do this. Uh, 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 oh, oh, more butt more and butt. yeah, just oh, maybe some other things that I'm not sure if they can be on the no, Twitch stream. It's all right. yeah. Oh, that's oh, right. Yes. There's some boobs yeah. and some. Uh, it is yeah. artwork, though. Yeah, so it is cool. art. Yeah. It's art. So, oh, okay. and you, if you don't mind cutting back to our uh, to our main shot, this yes. is uh, an old timey photo of Chet and Diane. Uh, yeah, it's a little whitewash right yeah, now because the lights out. in this parlor are very bright. Mm. But um, but you know what? But we can see you beautifully. That's right. Yeah, mm-hmm. here we are. Uh, this is typically we're in robes tonight. We're 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 classing up a little bit, I guess. People are in the same room as us. Yeah, I know. So that's right. We can't wear put a little our clothes on negligee. There. I mean, don't don't Unless everybody don't else dress was. up for for my uh, benefit. I've seen it all, mm. so you know I'm happy to see more. I don't really wear pajamas very often. Oh, you just, you just, you just, you're a uh, you're a naked sleeper. Naked? You know, I I didn't used to be, but mm-hmm. I I am now. So Even when it's cold. Oh, uh, having, well, yeah, because when it's cold, 
and then you put the blankets on, that's the best. You want um, that combination of the cold and the and the insulation. But, ah. but you know, wearing clothing in the bed, I've turned a corner. Mm. Wow. Yeah. I, I'm more... Brain I don't like my, my wiener flopping all over the place. I don't like my penis hitting the sheets. I, I have to... In you the gotta summer... get bamboo sheets. Oh, wow. Oh, see, that's our problem. Yeah, I, so it actually feels good against your penis? Yeah, like what kind of sheets are you wearing that... <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm wearing? Just, uh, you know, high, high thread count. Uh, Egyptian cotton. Egyptian cotton. Some mm. really soft stuff that breathes really well. well that not, should not... feel okay. Yeah, it does. See, Honestly, I don't like... I I'm fine with even like average sheets against my, my like, dick. I mean, really? I, honestly, anything touching it is, is yeah. Pretty, yeah, I would pretty much think what like I want, underwear right? and jeans are far more painful against your penis than sheets would be. You would think that. I just need a nice little, I need a, a nice pouch just to, to hold them oh, in place. Bamboo I, pouch, maybe? I don't want them flopping oh. all over the place. I when you want... toss and turn at night, how hard do you toss and turn? <laughs> it hurts really bad. <laughs> Man. I, I just, I don't know, I, I'm scared my sheets are gonna get dirty. Oh, uh, well, okay, okay. Yeah, earthquake, you mentioned the bamboo pouch. I, uh, I wear uh, Separatech underwear. I don't know if you know those, but uh, Separatech's a company that makes underwear that separates the the penis and the testicles into oh, separate pouches oh, wow. essentially Ooh. so that you know things can breathe better and they do make them in in bamboo as well they're wow, very cool. very comfortable you have to like, comfortable i mean because i wear sacks and that's another one that, but it's just a single pouch and that's taken off in the industry of underwear but mm -hmm. so the, if there's separate pouches do you have to like do, is there a, 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 a process to get into the underwear? Like, yeah, like an, like an order of assembly. Yeah, uh, you push it, your balls in first and then <laughs> put your penis in the second. Yeah. Uh, no, it's actually, it kind of all just kind of falls together into place. It's surprisingly easy. I mean, the oh, first wow. time I thought, oh, I'm gonna have to position everything, and especially with the bamboo ones, because they're really, they're slick and smooth. It's like, mm -hmm. everything just kind of just hits the spot. It's like, that was, that was easy. Wow. wow. Yeah. yeah, so I mean, does it, uh, is it shaped like an elephant? Can you buy them in different animal shapes? <laughs> uh, no, I do actually have uh, uh, some some uh, um, mm, what do they call that? Uh, fun underwear, ah, you know, like yeah. a toucan and uh, an elephant and all yeah. of that. But no, mm. the separate tech even has a flap that like the flap opens upward. Like it's really convenient for, oh, wow. for like a urinal and everything. It's oh, it's great. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about this combining of uh, testicle holding underwear with <laughs> underoos like <laughs> that. <laughs> It's a weird. It's a weird combination. It's like a butt flap, but for the front, it just has two snaps on it, and you yeah. lift it up. Yeah, pretty wow. much. Yeah, but without the snaps, yeah. everything just holds together. No, I I've had this conversation with Diane a lot. I've never used the little trap door in the underwear and pulled my penis out and also pulled it through my zipper. Mm -mm. Uh, do you guys ever do that when you pee? I so I sometimes do, but uh, I find it's. Often just easier and faster not to just yeah, like undo just the belt over the top. And, and push push the well. I actually push the underwear down. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I, I just flip it over the whole. I mean, of course I button the. Uh, well, no, pants, but, but like, but I, 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 it's going over the top. At the top, I'm lowering it quite a bit so it can yeah. get over. Oh, so you blow yeah. the whole balls out too? <laughs> Like you just like, no. are you like one of those people that just pull your pants down? And I don't actually pants. use the bathroom. I just, I just hey. expose myself. Yeah. You know what? Speaking of bathrooms, you had a really funny. Uh, you were telling telling us about this uh, great yeah. story. Oh, you're you're dating uh, on these dating apps, but all the guys did something funny. Uh, well, yeah, I was I was scouring through ads on. Uh, the gay dating apps, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. just going through hundreds and hundreds, you know, re I was I was doing research. That's mm -hmm. what I was I was doing research, mm -hmm. and uh, I came across this trend. Mm -hmm. There's an inordinate amount of people who who take photos that they think are sexy of themselves mm -hmm. in bathrooms. Yeah, and I've started to form this opinion that uh, gay men don't see bathrooms. Like it's what like, do you mean they don't see them? I don't think they, they take sexy photos of themselves with like uh, toothpaste speckled mirrors or, or or my favorite urinal. Like this is <laughs> let's bring <laughs> that bring that back. Yeah, hold on a second. I'm getting yeah, our, yeah. our screen connected here. This yeah. is our fun technology. So you're saying that a lot of guys, I mean girls take pictures in bathrooms too, mm -hmm. right? So but like I mean guys do you find that more I, I guess you haven't been on on uh, on on 
straight or heterosexual. Well, no, I've been on OK Cupid before yeah. they before they sanctioned you off. You're mm. not allowed to talk to straight guys. That was actually pretty successful for me. Mm. Yeah, that's yeah so I was really mad when they changed that. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. So. Um, here we go. Let's see. All right. There it is. Yes. All right. So. So let's let's see what you're talking about here. Uh, we'll just put this on and okay. Yeah. So the, if you can tell, we blanked out the faces, right? Because we want them to stay anonymous. But yeah. but like this is a handsome person, right? And I think gay men look at this and go, God, this guy's handsome. And I think he saw himself in the mirror and said, I'm handsome. This is this is going to get me sex. And and it took me a while before I realized, you know. There's urinals in the background. Yeah. I, I, it looks yep. like he's purposely trying to. He's like the focus is on the urinal. Actually, the focus is on his camera. Yeah, and it's like him versus the urinal there. Yeah, it's kind of like the urinals really set off your eyes. Like yeah. that's how people think. And there's photo after photo of guys in front of urinals or just in their bathroom. Like this, like the toothpaste really in the <laughs> sink or what's. It's like pulling focus away. Mm -hmm. It's all on the. It's all on the sink. Like yeah. this guy otherwise might be attractive, but I'm really obsessed with, like, the accoutrement and his dop kit there. Yeah. Like, what's inside? Well, maybe he's just trying to show off his bathroom, just being like, hey, look, I have this cool walk-in shower that happens to have these glass tiles right next to the toilet. Here's my toilet. Because there's the, yeah, there's, I actually miss it. Like, gay men yep. don't see yeah. toilets. Yeah, I yeah. Yeah. forgot to see yeah. the toilet in and the background. It's kind of like there. a Where's Waldo thing. Yeah. You know? Like, where's the toilet in this picture? What else oh, we got there here? There it is. Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, no, there's a little hint of, yeah. Speaking of where's Waldo? Like, there's just a peek of that. Yeah, that yeah just a right little there. bit of a toilet. Mm -hmm. And this guy's like, I look so good. So proud of his looks. This yeah. is gonna make people want to have sex mm. with me. Like, that's what th that's what he's thinking. And like, this looks like a truck stop bathroom. No, right? that yeah. looks yeah. like a bathroom yeah. where you would have sex with a guy in. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm yeah. not to be like stereotypical or anything, but that seems like yeah. if I was to picture, uh, if I was like, hey, I'm gonna have a sexual experience with another man, I, I would picture that bathroom right I, there. I think that bathroom would be the kind that shows up in the gay after school special about <laughs> bathrooms that you're not supposed <laughs> oh, to have yeah. sex yeah. in. How oh, about God. this one? Yeah, this I mean, one, now this oh, is yeah. a genuinely hot guy. He yeah. wants you to see his tattoo. Like uh -huh. he really wants you to see that. And you notice how that door is just propped yeah. open as though to <laughs> depth specifically yeah. show, like he could have fixed that. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. or, yeah, or he's just like, hey, I just let a massive deuce Hopefully everybody can see that. <laughs> yep. Yeah, and also, like, he really wants you to know he's wearing... Is that Adidas underwear? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. He wants yeah. us to know he's wearing Adidas yeah. underwear. Like, it yo. It's a rip-off of it. Oh, I guess it is backwards because yeah. of a mirror, yeah. but... I'm yeah. a hot dude, and, that, I mean, look at his abs. That's yeah. ostensibly mm -hmm. a hot dude who... Like, this is a problem. Yeah. Gay men have a problem. They... Like, the toilet is not making you look any better. Oh, see, I like this one because you can see the toilet in the reflection. Oh, I always thought it was, there was like a yeah. glass window there, no, but he, yeah. He covered, it, he covered it with his own body, but yeah. there it is, oh, peeking yeah. out through that reflection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they don't know. And I think other gay men, like, I actually think I wrote to this guy before mm -hmm. I realized what was going on. Like, my blinders were on. Yeah. Well, I just uh, go back oh, to that other yeah. guy if yeah. you can. So, I, I, I had to, I mean, Dick showed me these pictures and uh and i i, I was the one who who uh, took out their faces this guy looked like it was a, a guy that you would bring home to mom and dad and be like hey this is a guy i'm dating and they would be really proud of you i i actually think i went on a date with that oh, guy. oh really yeah 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 it didn't work out though no? no no our date lasted 10 and a half hours we spent the entire day together we had dinner brunch what we had Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and we saw a movie, and he took me to his home, and then he never talked to me after that. Oh. Wow. Oh, Did you hook up? No. Oh. oh. No, we you... had tea, and we had a nice conversation, yeah. and then... What uh, kind of tea? Uh, I think he gave me an herbal tea with lemon in it. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Huh. Oh, well, Interesting. Let's All right. see what we've got. Wow. Yeah. Now, this wow. person's covering their face to start with, but... And and they're staying way in the back. Now yeah. there's no toilet in this one, but you know exactly where. The, I mean, this is like an in, a, industrial dorm type. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's totally a dorm, or like a hotel room. Yeah, like yeah. a college hotel. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. It's not just a normal hotel because normal hotels don't look like this. That's maybe, a college hotel. Maybe it's a uh, it's a hostel. I don't know. Yeah, may, maybe. But but what? What's actually in focus? Like he's moved as far away as he can from all the other things that are in this photo, and and the dop kit and the two sinks are the thing that are taking up all the focus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that and his giant bulge. Yes. 
It yes. Is, it's quite a bold. Uh, he's proud of that Ooh, one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah oh, let's man. see. All right. Oh, no, no, bow tie. tie on this. Yeah. Look at that. I mean, a clearly a cute dude. Even though you can't see the face, like this is a clearly put together, attractive yeah. person. I don't know. There's a Tucker Carlson vibe I'm getting. Yeah. Just because of the bow tie? Yeah. Well, wow. and, the, and the, you know, the, the, the jacket and all of that. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. And Behind the hair. that oval, he does not look anything like Tucker Carlson. Okay. You know? All right, good. So he, 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 was a, he had a genuine sweet face to him. Yeah. Not, yeah. not a decrepit. Genuine the rapper? Yes, yes, he yes. looked exactly like Genuine the All Rapper. Right. But, but you know, you're taking this flavor like this is gonna. I want, I want other men to see this because mm-hmm. I want people that want to, you know, go on a date with me. And you're like. But I want all of this photo to be the floor of a bathroom. Yeah, right? it's a lot of. I mean, yeah, it's a lot of floor. It's not even an intricate no, pattern. That's like no. something like that's like from a mall from well, the seventies. How or hard is it just it to crop is. the photo? Every yeah. photo like immediately goes. Do you want to? Do you want to edit this? Like, and this guy was like, No, this yeah. is perfect. This yes. is well framed. And when you go on to Grinder and Scruff and these other apps, like th- before you upload a photo, they say they they make you crop it. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And he chose <laughs> to just <laughs> leave the you wide view. <laughs> feel shame about yourself because <laughs> uh-huh. you're putting a picture of yourself in a bathroom. Yeah, <laughs> I would have cut out some. Stuff. <laughs> oh, uh, I love this. No, this looks like probably their own own bathroom and yeah. it's not as bad but but yeah it's a couple or like as a couple we're sexy in the, yes. in, the in the bathroom but why are they on grinder are they just they just looking for a threesome or oh, is there yeah. a lot of a lot of uh, there's a lot of well yeah. not there's there's a frequent number of couples who mm-hmm. are on there or they'll each have their own profile that'll happen a lot and they'll be oh. like i'm with so and so and they'll both, both be scanning and looking mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but it's usually an open relationship there's a lot of yeah. people in relationships oh yeah yeah i mean on right. all the dating sites you'll yeah. see couples are on there all the time and yeah. you know some of my partners are on there and you know mm. they're very open about the poly nature of it so yeah yeah so that's funny oh uh, wait is that dick? Well, that's just that's, that's just you dick <laughs> What are you talking about? You're all making fun of these guys with toilets in the background. I, I think it, you know, it, it take it took me a while to recognize that this was a problem and that it's it's a problem among gay uh-huh. men because mm-hmm. I haven't seen it among straight women and mm-hmm. straight men and their uh-huh. dating profiles and it, awareness, a lot of self awareness, and you know, is required. And and you too, I want to tell everyone out in the world, you too. Can can recognize toilets in your photo. You just have to open your mind to this problem, and then you will start to see. Wow, <laughs> that was real informative. The yeah. more you know. Yeah, seriously. The, the, the more you know about. Uh, but I did look good in that photo. Yeah, didn't you look, I, I looked pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I like that like overshirt undershirt mm-hmm. thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, that hat, the little Gilgan Island hat there. Yeah, yeah, yep. I would do me. Ah. That's one of the that's one of the weird side effects of being gay is you can be attracted to yourself. Ah. Ah. I would it's not gross, not all the no, time, it's but all just right. once in a while I'd want to fuck me. Yeah, I mean it, if you're like, you know what, that I, I have a good penis size, I want that in my own anus. Do you ever think about that? Uh I yeah, I mean I think I think about what it would be like to be with myself sometimes. Mm-hmm. Mm. And I don't I mean I don't know if I want to hang out with me all the time, mm-hmm. but once in a while I'm probably fun. I think I'd drive myself crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Chet so, would. Yeah. yeah. Well, don't forget. I mean, you've got those kits that you can you can clone your own penis. Uh, oh they have yeah. Those, the the clone of Willy and some of the other kits. So you could in fact mm. experience that for yourself yeah. if you wanted to. Christmas is coming up. Yeah. Now I know what to get yeah. to. Yeah. yeah. I, I <laughs> would, in my defense, I did put the toilet way to the to the one side so I can crop it completely mm. out when I go on the dating mm. site. I mean, it looked like you purposely did that. I don't know. It looks like he purposely took a picture. It looks well framed mm-hmm. for a very specific purpose. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. like there's something going on with that this urinal all over that the we need to show. Mm-hmm. Yep. What's going on yeah. in there? Hmm. Oh. Interesting. I don't know. Mm, no, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Well, I mean, as always, we take phone calls uh, and answer questions from callers here. Uh, Peter. Do we got anybody calling in? Yeah, we do. We uh, so we have uh, we've got Ivan on the line, and Ivan's got a question about voyeurism. Ivan, can you hear us? Hello, Ivan. Hello, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Oh yeah, oh. very nice, sexy you are voice. Talking sex live with Chet and Diane. So, 
Voyeurism is uh, that's that's where you like to have sex in front of other people. And that's where you like to watch other people. Watch other people. Voyeurism I always get like that mixed watch. up. Yeah, exhibition, exhibitionism, exhibitionism would be the other one. Yeah, yeah, totally. yeah, it is. It is very easy to get those confused. Um, is it, I mean, it, I difference. have that that fetish. My, I'm not fetish. I have that kink myself, right. but. I am sorry, Ivan. Uh, I have been drinking bourbon, not yes, so much, too much the uh, vodka, as I can hear in your voice. Is that um, what? Can, how can we help you, my friend? I am a voyeurist. I am a. Uh -huh. uh, I am. I am a director by trade. Mm -hmm. I love to watch people. However, I have a problem. Mm -hmm. I can only come. If I am watching myself, come. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wait, wait. So you have basically you you look in the mirror, right? No, you see, I've never. I am. I must see myself coming into someone else. Oh. So do you have like mirrors above the he bed? Must, no, he must have a camera set up. Oh. Like we do, we've done that uh, quite a few times. So is that is that what you're talking about? You have cameras uh, set up while you have sex. I am a director. Mm -hmm. I am not in front of the camera and oh. action. All right, you're gonna have to explain this a little bit. So, God, are you kidding me? <laughs> no, no. I... Yeah, you see, it's a struggle. I am in a constant spiral in a circle, mm -hmm. if you will. It is my magnum opus to finally have sex and actually come into somebody on film to then be able to watch that film back and actually come. I've never had sex. Wait, well, you've I, never had sex. I, yeah, I'm super confused right now. Let's so. go again. And okay. action. Okay. So wait, is somebody having sex right now while you're filming this, while you're talking to us? God, are you kidding? Come on. We've been through this. Okay. So many rehearsals. I need another latte. <laughs> no, I have never had sex. Uh, because my problem is I can only come if I see myself coming into someone else on film. But I will not get in front of the camera because I am a director. Uh, okay, can I can I jump in here real quick? Because I want to understand just the timeline of this. So you... you... Um, you, okay, yeah. Uh, all right, so you say you've never had sex, uh, if I'm understanding you correctly, uh, but in that case, how do you know that that's how you can come? Caught! Brilliant, send it to print. Yes, I have never had actual intercourse. Okay, wow. so you, you, just, you just masturbate? What? No, 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 so you just, you, you watch yourself... Having sex, but it's not you having sex. And the, God, this is man. This so is, it's this is like a mind you're watching no, a I, I don't. Porno? I don't think you understand the, no, the dilemma. Not at all. I can only come into someone else if I see myself coming into someone else. I can masturbate all day long. I am a director. However, nothing will come out of it. Mm, that, that literally yes yeah, yeah. yes we get you yeah. so so have you like fantasized about this is that how you know you can only come if you watch yourself come on film oh yes i get very excited mm. uh, distracted even watching uh, my talent uh, on the other side of of the lens performing and i wonder can i do it can i do the same huh do you God, come on. <laughs> have you ever had an orgasm in your life? Sounds like you no. haven't had sex at all. You okay. You got never it. had an orgasm, but you know that you'll have an orgasm if you're the one having the You're in a you're in a loop. You're in a chicken and egg loop mm -hmm. right now. Yes, because... yes, this this is what okay. I tried to say. Catch yeah. twenty two. Who is this background actor? <laughs> you <laughs> it's Dick you. Yes. Yes. You will be, you are fired! You will be my new leading man or woman. Oh. oh. Whatever you identify. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. you, you know, um, we might be able, to, what if we have the sex on the camera, but you don't know you're being filmed 
until the very last moment. I spring it on you, kind of like when you're watching a peaceful meadow and then that hag comes out and goes, ah, like that kind of a thing. What if we did that and then it combines with your orgasmic energy at the moment, which you can't have an orgasm, but you can get pretty close to an orgasm, and then you suddenly realize you're on camera the entire time. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, like, uh... Uh, groundbreaking filmmaking, it sounds like. Uh, I perhaps could be into it. It sounds expensive. Uh, maybe we need to use a drone. Yeah, no, I am old school. Get a helicopter. I want this to be a helicopter wide shot. Okay. We start out over a sunset and slowly zoom in on my massive hog penetrating. <laughs> now, I can, can I just, I want to clarify, does this have to be on film? And we're speaking literally film, or could this be... Uh, live video that you're watching uh, av of the events ta as they take place. I am a director. I do not do award <laughs> shows. Got that. Yeah, yeah. I suspected that that was the answer we'd get. Yeah, I, I just picture this like an M Night Shyamalan ending. You know, just uh, like it. The ending was like he was actually in the film all along. Is mm -hmm. that right, Ivan? Have you ever thought about that? Just, or he was coming the whole time? Yeah, yeah. like it, it was a big twist, and at the end it was the reveal that it was you in the movie, and then you actually had an orgasm. Come all over the camera, I don't yeah. know, yeah. And cut. <laughs> I realize I have been orgasming this whole time. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is yeah. not that I haven't been able to orgasm. It is that I have not been able to stop. Oh. oh. It's so kind, of, kind of like the Hulk. Your secret is you were coming the whole time. Ah. Yeah. And, and the more you come, the, the more you, you become a better director? I, sure. I don't know. I don't know. I, it is maybe not in the budget. <laughs> Orgasming this entire time. Well, that blows away my theory because mm. I was going with a singularity. Kind of, you know, like everything had to happen simultaneously. So mm. I was comparing in my mind. This was the Big Bang, which was an appropriate name. Ah, oh. mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. That's what you need. You need a Big Bang. But you. That actually... was my first film. That was oh. in US, USC Film School. Ah. Mm. Mm. Was that ver verbiti, verbiti, ver verbiti, verbiti? There's a name for the film. No, no, that's the. Uh... That's George Lucas Film School. Never mind. I, I thought I knew it, but never Does he mind. do pornos now? Is Are you still like... drinking that bourbon? I am. <laughs> Yum. Well, uh, uh, so, I mean, ha have we have we helped you with a solution here? Or, or you know, do, do you need more clarity on, mm. on how, to, how to come, uh, how to solve this for yourself? Uh, I, I think I have found my solution. I will just live with the fact that I constantly orgasm. Yeah. I am constantly coming everywhere, but I have come so much, nothing else comes out. It's your dry I am in a constant drinks. state yeah. of edging. And you have found me my new leading person. Oh. Wow. Who is that? It that must be Dick Colby over mm -hmm. here. So. Yes. Wow. Yes. Wow. Well, Ivan, I... Really hope that we helped you out. Please keep it safe, sane, and consensual, and always stay sex positive. Uh, have a good night. Rolling, rolling. <laughs> okay. Hey, or you should say cut because we're gonna end the call. But anyways, <laughs> I, you know, it's, he seems very, very comfortable with the fact that for uh, ever he's been having orgasms. There's an actual disease of people yeah. who have orgasms yes. frequently and it's, mm. it's debilitating so yeah. it's really good that i don't know the name of that disease i learned about it recently yeah I, I i can try to look that up real quick huh. here okay but yeah um uh, i learned about it because a man had gotten into some kind of accident and it caused mm. a, a a form of brain damage right like he's otherwise cognizant but like yeah. it, it altered how his brain worked and so he has orgasms regularly uh, and it's a very debilitating thing. So for yeah. Ivan to be huh. able to live with all these orgasms all the time is 
really a testament yeah. to, to his it's spirit. Uh, persistent genital arousal disorder. Oof. Wow. Um, yeah, it does not that's, sound like a disorder. Yeah. It sounds amazing. Well, no, because that's the thing. <laughs> but, and I remember a yeah. story. There was a woman who had a car accident and ended up with that exact thing. And like, mm. she's she'll do television interviews. It sounds funny, but you can see how anguishing it is to her. Because yeah. like, literally in the interview, like she's just constantly just suddenly stopping to have an orgasm and then continue. Whoa. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it's wow. it's one of those things where it, it seems funny. Yeah. <laughs> to yeah. us outside of it but when you see the person with it it's like oh my god like she can't hold a, down a job she can't yeah. operate in normal circumstances because she's constantly orgasming which no one understands or is cool with in most wow. situations I once I once had a, a night of sex with uh, an attractive young man who um, I had enough orgasms that night that I actually had to tell him to stop wow. like stop I was getting it was Getting weak being, there. Been lightheaded yeah. and sick to my stomach. Like six or seven times, and you're just like, you can't. It, 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 Hard to stand it there. Hurts. Yeah. It's like, yeah. It's like shooting a, like a, trying to sh- force a piece of spaghetti at your urethra or something. Just doesn't work. That um, I w- <laughs> spaghetti. Yeah, you know, because like, yeah, I mean, more, normally people are trying to shove things into their urethra. No, no, I'm just saying uh, that like, you're not, not a liquid. I don't know. I just like. It's, that's what it feels like. You're trying to force out something, but nothing's coming out. Is what I'm oh, trying to okay. say. Is that actually it, you can't force anything out of it anymore. <laughs> it's, it's just, just not gonna happen. Yeah, and there's there's no liquid. Yeah, I mean, it's like a smoke cloud. There. It's like dry yeah. heaving, but with your penis. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I once vomited so many times I had to go to the hospital because it was going to, like, I was dehydrated. And, yeah. That's and what every happened. time I threw up, the, my lower half of my body went numb. Oh. But was that what was happening when you were on that date? Was that it was. You you had to go to the, you, you were dehydrated. I uh, well yeah I was dehydrated and I started to pass out and oh, I I got lightheaded. I was like you have to stop. Mm. I was I'm grabbing the wall like, yeah. thanks leave. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it, well, it sounds very mm. horrible. It, mm. it, it, but like. I was preserving myself at that point. Yeah, yeah, it gets exhausting after five or six times. That was, that's our record, right? Six or five? I lost track. I think it was five. Five, yeah. So I mean, five time, five, five sex sessions in the day for us, and for me, it was five orgasms. Diane, I don't know. You had some multiple orgasms in there. How many do you think you had in the in that one day? Nine. Nine. Nine orgasms. Yeah. So, I mean, for a woman, it's a little different. Like, we had Susan Bratton on the last show yeah. where she was saying she had, what, like, something like 50 orgasms or something? Something like that. Yeah. I know something it was in the, in the you know, outrageous. Yeah. tens and tens of mm-hmm. orgasms, mm-hmm. which, of course, is easier for women typically mm-hmm. than men. I mean, I I'm, I'm match your record of five in a day. That's, yeah. that's the most I, I can well, do. Well, like, Diane and I, like, before the show, we, we had some sex today, and, and she was like, I, I'm not done yet, and then I, I, I was able to hold in my orgasm, but it was it, it's a series of smaller orgasms when you do multiple orgasms for a man, and then at the end, you just, you're like, is that it? Am I done? And then, you know, I look at my load, and I'm like, wow, that was a lot of cum that came out there, and I, it's not like, you know, when you have one orgasm as a man, you tend to, uh, you just you explode. And but if you have multiple ones as a man, then it's just like at the end when you're you're finally done, you're just like, well, you kind of almost feel like you're not as satisfied. You're just mm-hmm. like because you don't have that one all exploding orgasm that just makes you want to pass out and be done for the day. I don't know. Is well, that you did ha- have a lot of work to do today. Yeah, I had a lot of stuff I had to do. I just want to know, like, because there's the refractory period where mm-hmm. you're you're building up uh, mm-hmm. more. Like, if if you have multiple orgasms throughout the day, like, are you, is it is it more semen or are you pulling other bodily fluids? Like, what else is coming out of there, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. It, it's, it's, is it plasma? What's happening? It's pretty much nothing. I yeah, I mean, by the end, you're 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 literally they say shooting blanks. Mm-hmm. At that point, you are mm-hmm. essentially shooting blanks. I've watched yeah. a Dalmatian do that. Shoot blanks? <laughs> yeah, he wasn't having an orgasm, but he uh, he needed to pee on everything. Oh, and, yeah. Oh, and yeah. still went through the motion of, of trying to urinate on stuff yeah, and mark territory, but nothing came out. Oh. And the dog was oblivious wow. to the fact that nothing was... Interesting. Just, like, the Dalmatians don't know when they're not peeing. Like, gay men don't know when they're in front of a urinal. Ah. Ah. Oh, it all comes in full circle. Mm-hmm. Uh, Peter, do we have another call coming in? 
Uh, yes, yes, we do. Let's see here. Uh, so we have we have Julie on the line, and Julie has a question about oh having sex with with women. Oh, Diane, you a should favorite be favorite topic of many yeah, hours. Yeah. Hello, you're talking sex live with Chet and Diane. I am Chet, and I'm Diane. This is Julie. Yes, it is. Hi. Ooh, Hello. Wow. So you have a question about having sex with women. Is that right? I do. Yeah. Um, my well, my situation is this: I uh, have considered my sex, my um, myself heterosexual. Mm-hmm. I've exclusively been with men my entire life, um, but I'm finding as I get older that I'm I'm still physically attracted to a man. I I very much enjoy having a penis during intercourse, but I'm I'm not really emotionally or intellectually or spiritually. Uh, sort of attracted to men any longer. Ah, mm. Yeah, it happens. It does yeah. happen. Yeah. And so, um, you know, I've just been sort of exploring the idea of being with a woman, but unfortunately, as of right now, at least, I, I don't really, the idea of being with someone that possesses a vagina and boobs like myself isn't really that um, appealing. Mm. But, so but you... I have sort of, I, sorry, I have sort of had fantasies, though, about um, having a woman pleasure me. Ooh, yeah. And oh, yeah. So, pillow princess. Yeah, you you want to be yeah. a pillow princess. So, <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. And so I guess my question is, um, is that even a thing? Is it like appropriate to want that? Like, oh, how, yeah. if I if I did, how would I do that? I I just would love to hear your um your thoughts on that. Well, it seems like you just want an emotional connection with another woman, like because it it, it mm-hmm. you're. Men just, you, you don't connect with them, but you still find them physically attractive. And you, you don't exactly feel that uh, another woman's sexually attractive, but you feel that you're more connected to them. Is it, does that sound about right? Definitely. Yeah. So, I, I mean, I like to always say that our sexuality is on a spectrum. No one's really 100% gay. One, no one's 100% heterosexual. Dick's on the other. Dick's like, no, no. I think I'm 100 percent gay, but yeah, yeah. 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 I'm. I'm. What they what do they call it? A gold star gay. A gold star gay. (laughs) So, but I I feel that everyone has some type of uh, attractiveness to both sexes. You know, it it Mm -hmm. it varies. So I also uh, read in a book that women are more likely heterosexual women are more likely to. Have lesbian thoughts later on in life. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah there's there's been there's been research that generally shows mm-hmm. women are more open to uh, homosexuality than men are in general. They're a little bit more open to it in a partner, mm-hmm. etc. They're more turned on by watching uh, gay sex of uh, the of the other gender. Mm-hmm. So in general, that tends to often be the case. Uh, but in your case, uh, uh, Julie, you're, you're you're saying you know mm-hmm. I, I think I think uh, uh, Chet is onto something with the possibility that this doesn't have to be a romantic relationship mm-hmm. it could be an asexual relationship that said I, I do think you did say something specific about you're turned on potentially by the idea of her going down on you mm-hmm. more than you are of going down on her and that's you know assuming you find someone who is equally into that kind of exchange that's not necessarily a bad thing and mm-hmm. that's an option mm-hmm. yeah I, I guess the, I guess my question would be like how do you go about finding that because if if I were to just try to start you know, dating women, it would seem sort of unfair to be mm-hmm. like, okay, well, you know, you can go down on me, but I'm not touching you. So yeah. how well, do you sort of navigate that without being inappropriate to someone? We're going to turn or, this over to yeah. Diane because she has okay. a lot of the similar things. So I, I before I we turn it over to Diane, I, I, I want to ask, are you with a man right now? No, I'm okay. not. Okay, so uh, Diane... At what point did you find that you were attracted to women? Was it your whole life, or was my whole it life? Your whole life. So oh, you yeah. you were attracted to Barbara men. Eden, I Dream of Jeannie, and mm-hmm. Larry Hagman. Mm-hmm. I watched those old reruns. And so, <laughs> uh, but was it more of a cultural appropriation, or just like norms that made you want to be with a man more? Or do you, are you more attracted to men? Or I guess what turned you on to me more than being with a woman? I mean, we got married, so 
And I and I allow you well, to have I, sex I with have women. Is it just a coin flip? <laughs> I, I, I want to know why you appropriated <laughs> Chet's culture. Yes, I'm trying to figure this out here. So we would never actually had this conversation. No, we didn't. Yeah. So, but like you, you chose me over all these hot women that well, you always have. I still get to satisfy with. my sexuality, yeah, you do. though. Yeah. So. Allow so, that in our relationship. Uh, what's your advice to? Uh, is it Julia? Is that right, Julie? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I'd say Julie. if Julie. you're with a girl, just say, "Hey, I, I'm new to this. I want to experiment. Mm. I am not comfortable yet with going down on you. You could go down on me, but I can, you know, finger you, or I can do some pl uh, toys in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. You can do that. Yeah. Double-sided dildos work as well. And I'll say, I mean, there there are many people who prefer giving over mm -hmm. receiving. This is not unusual. I mean, generally, there's a give and take to most relationships when it comes to any kind of sexual activity, including oral. But it's not always that way. Some people are really, really into giving to the point where it's like, I don't care if you return the favor. Mm -hmm. This turns me on. Mm -hmm. uh, and so you may find someone who's like that. Uh, as for how to find them, I think that's really the big question is, is how to do that. <laughs> and... Yeah. I mean, that, that comes to down to almost any uh, kink or fetish is you, you kind of have to kind of put yourself out there with that in mind. I mean, there's there's sites like FetLife, which are very specific to finding people with fellow fetishes. And it seems odd to call this a fetish because it's really pretty normal part of sex. But in this case, in a sense, it is. It's it's a matter of finding someone who wants to perform that on you. I mean, there's there's sites for it's finding like just... glory holes and things like that. There's, to a degree, that kind of concept for women. Mm. Peter, I was going to say, she could also just go to a lesbian bar, and that yeah. works just, just yeah. as fine. No, I, I think being just, like, very direct in a lesbian yeah. bar would probably work. Yeah, right? yeah just, that's like, all you this need is to do. Yes, yeah, so also, if you make a dating profile, you can say that you're a, mm -hmm. a noob at this, mm -hmm. that you've never done anything yeah. with the girl. Like, look, if this were the gay community, you say... I'm I'm straight dude, and I've never done anything with another dude. Uh, they'd be all over you, especially mm. if you had a photo of yourself in front of a urinal. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I will say, as a mostly straight man, I have had multiple gay men who were like, "Can I just blow you?" Yeah, <laughs> it's like mm -hmm. they, they were just mm -hmm. super mm -hmm. into that idea. So okay. So I, I am curious. Uh, I, I mean, in the lesbian community, is there tops and bottoms? Like, is it does it work the same? Where it's like, hey, I I mainly like just giving oral as, uh, as well, opposed to receiving oral. Like, I would say it just depends on the person because yeah. there are a lot of heterosexual men that don't like giving a woman head. Yeah, well, it's just the majority of it. I, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to say the majority of it. That men, don't like going down on a woman? Yeah, I mean, just... The I majority mean, of men? Well, are we watching your I marriage on the right now? Right now? <laughs> yeah, no, no, I'm just saying I like going down on men. Uh, Is that why I've had so, <laughs> so much luck with going down on women? It's like, yeah. yes, desperate yeah. to finally a man who likes it? It's like, yeah, no. <laughs> no, I, I feel that... Wait, the, can we focus <laughs> on Julie and not focus on your marriage for a second? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sorry, Julie. Yes. So, Segwayed. <laughs> so uh, you you're in a prime spot right now. You're single. You are have the whole world uh, to explore right now, mm -hmm. and it really is just something simple for you, just to say. Just have fun and don't overthink it. Exactly. That's what I would say. And, and you know what? A lot of women who are also lesbians they are in the same boat or you could date a bisexual woman and mm -hmm. she would be more than understanding yeah. i would say i feel like the majority of lesbian couples they that i meet they're i mean they're typically older and they typically it, i mean I, I i don't ask them about their sex lives but it seems like they are they're just a good match. They're just, their souls match. And whether or not they have sex, they could have sex all the time or they could have never have sex. But it just seems like they're just, you know, best friends that happen to, you know, love each other on that level. So uh, I've been yeah. with lesbians that had, did not want to go down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they just just what what did they just want to? They just wanted to be a put a strap princess. on. Oh, they they wanted you to go down on her. Got it. And there's there's women like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they just wanted to you know put a strap on and dominate you. Mm, there's been a few, but a few of those. Yeah. Huh. I, there's, there's all kinds, all kinds. Julie, there is more yeah. to lesbian sex than strap-ons. Just so you know, <laughs> there's yes. also scissoring. Well, no, I can pretty sure there's, there's none of that. There's no scissoring don't at all. Yeah, to me. I was just there's, joking. Sorry. Yeah, there's. It's not like a finite <laughs> list. Mm -hmm. uh, how's all this going down with you right now? No pun intended. 
Yeah. <laughs> I like that joke. No. <laughs> No, I, I mean, yeah, I guess that I never really thought of it that way as it as a sort of being a commodity that people might be interested in. I, I think I was sort of maybe overthinking it and worried that, you know, it almost might be like inadvertently like homophobic to sort of be like, OK, well, I want to I want to be with a woman, but oh, I don't want to touch a woman. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I just mm-hmm. want to make sure that I wasn't being inappropriate and wanting that. Or Oh, no, it's all baby steps. Yeah. yeah, I feel like there's a lot of other women who are in your same shoes. Uh, they just got tired of men. men. Yeah, just tired Penises, of... Penises. Just putting up stuff. with men mm-hmm. bullshit and they just they want someone who's in the same mindset as they are and they end up having a beautiful relationship for the rest of their lives are you Um, telling me i'm a lesbian is that what's going on right now you're tired of men (laughs) i'm tired of something and (laughs) men are always involved Uh, (laughs) i i think uh uh, what it comes down to a lot is is just it's being open and honest about your interests and then finding the person who connects with that absolutely like mm-hmm. you can find someone who really really wants to eat you out mm-hmm. and uh you know doesn't necessarily need anything in return other than you know maybe it's netflix and uh you know kind of lingus yeah. <laughs> and that's I've, just mm-hmm. it's it's one-sided yeah. and they're fine with it that is a phrase i've yep. seen that on t-shirts netflix and kind of lingus <laughs> so i gave you that shirt <laughs> yeah you did yeah. Yeah. Yeah, last christmas mm-hmm. um but, side business <laughs> yeah so like yeah i so I'm somebody who really enjoys going down on Diane, and then we have sex, and we also are connected. If, if you are someone who just wants to connect, and, and then maybe sex comes up later, that that's perfectly fine. Uh, I mean, and don't feel bad about wanting to also have sex with a man. I, just, just be open with your partner mm-hmm. and say, like, you know what, I... I, I have this emotional connection with you. I feel very sexually, uh, or just, I guess, romantically connected is what I wanted to say. I'm very romantically connected to you. I'm speaking hypothetically. There's also a word for people that are just emotionally connected to somebody and that turns them on, and I yeah. forget what it is. Mm. is that, yeah, I know, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. It's yeah. something, but, but it, the name is escaping me mm-hmm. for the moment. So if you find that connection... It, you just have to be honest and say, like, you know what? I, I still am attracted to men, and I really want to have sex with a man because I do enjoy a, a, a good penis every once in a while. But I just I don't want to put up with all the, the bullshit that There's men There's also strap-ons, though. Yeah. But, as, yeah. as you remember very well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. so, as you're quick to point out. Or just out. penis molds, too. And, and in yeah. fairness, there are, absolutely. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's, you know, I joke, but, I mean, there's a wide range of that. You know, and maybe that's something you end up into. I mean, that that's, the, as Chet was saying, this is potentially a jumping-off point for you. If you find someone who's okay with this stage and you're turned on by it, Maybe you start picking up other elements of it. And, you know, maybe, okay, you never want to go down on someone, but maybe, in fact, you do want a strap-on. And there's a huge variety of those available. Mm-hmm. You know, there's there's double-ended ones, so you can get pleasure of that from that, and she can too. So y- there's there's no specific way, and this is the case of all relationships, heterosexual, mm-hmm. homosexual. There's asexual relationships that still sex is involved. It's just it, it fills a different role for them. And then every form of what sex is, you're going to find different components of it. And some people never have oral sex in either direction in a relationship. Some only one does it for the other. And that happens in much more typical relationships than what you think you're looking for right now. So you're starting at it from an angle that's very specific, but maybe it develops into something more. Hmm. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah, who knows? Like, uh, I'm open to it, I suppose, in the future, if maybe that changes. But I, I just wanted to make sure that I was um you know like I said not being unfair or not at all no so yeah. go yeah. out in the world and experiment and have some fun go to a go to a lesbian bar mm-hmm. uh look at look so I, I don't we don't know where you live at but I'm sure there's mm-hmm. something close to you where you're at or just get on some website uh mm-hmm. that uh what's what's the lesbian equivalent of grinder there's got, to, there's got to be several of those. I, 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 would, I thought it should be called Grind Her. Right now. Grind Her. Grind Her. Yeah. Or um, Scissor. Scissor. Licky. I don't have my website thing in front of me. No, um, no. I, I don't generally. Peter's, looking it, Peter's yeah. looking it up right now to try to get you on these. There's also Fet Life, like we were explaining. <laughs> and then uh, what do you got there, Peter? Uh, there, there is literally one called Scissor. 
um, Thank spelled you. the way no. you would expect with mm-hmm. the, you know, skipping the E at the end. So that's mm-hmm. one of them. Mm-hmm. Um, There's more of a yeah. scissor. 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 Find her. Mm. HRR. Uh, like grinder, yeah. but find her. Yeah. yeah, looking at my phone as I do this. So. Mm. But yeah, there, there, there are a few of them mm. out there, apparently. So you have options. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and I think just the recommendation of going to a lesbian bar at all. I mean, that's just the thing is talk with people. I mean, mm. you, you may make some connections that way. And again, being open, I mean, obviously not too much. Everyone hates the person who's like just chattering about, oh, here's all the terrible things that happened in my past relationships as the very first way they start a conversation. But connect with people and then you can open up about what it is that you're you're dealing with. And you'll, you know, some people may be turned off by it, but that's dating anyway. It's like you open up and some people don't want to hear about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, true. Yeah. And I might steal the uh, Netflix and Cunnilingus as my username. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah, to put that in your profile and just uh, just watch them like dead to me and say, hey, time to go down on me. Mm-hmm. I, I yeah. mean, do that. It'll, it'll get attention, but you're going to get tired of typing all that in to log into these. <laughs> <laughs> well, if, if you skip a couple of the vowels, yeah, kind of like in yeah. Scissor, then you might get there faster. Yeah, yeah. So, well, <laughs> Ju- Julia, I hope we, we pointed you in the right direction, helped you out. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, thank you. I really appreciate it. No problem. It was, it was uh, well, I, please go out into the world and, and find yourself. You've, you've got a whole world to explore right now. Mm-hmm. So. And go get your pussy eaten. Yeah. To, to... I will. Thank you so much. All right. Have a good, have a good night. night. Thanks. Wow. Yeah, I, I just, I, it makes me really happy to, to have somebody figure out who they really are. You know, it's just like. To, to open someone's eyes and just be like, yeah, you know, this is what I like. And I, I really feel that I want to pursue this. I, I think that is the, the right thing to do. Like, I, I don't know. What, what do you guys think? Like, at what point did, did you figure out that you were polyamorous there? Uh I mean, I, I think I think that's one of the things as as we're talking about. Mm-hmm. You find it as you go. I mean, mm-hmm. you, you go into people most most often go into relationships with their understanding of how society says relationships are supposed to work, mm-hmm. uh, and then you start you start walking down that path. I mean, you know, you, you see some things on television. You know, yeah, there was an episode of Penn and Teller bullshit about polyamory, and like that was one of the first things for me. I was like, oh, that's interesting. These people are happy mm-hmm. in a situation that. I, I would grow up hearing was ridiculous and gross and, you know, you mm-hmm. know, swinger is you and all this stuff. And it's like, but those people seem perfectly happy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, you know, maybe you, you meet someone who opens up to you about the fact that they're, they are, are someone who prefers to be with more than one person at a time. Mm-hmm. And maybe you like that person enough that you're like, what, we, what does that mean? It's instead, of, instead of you do the, the automatic reaction of, oh, so you don't want to be with me, you want to cheat on me or all of that, it's more of a case of, okay... I like you enough to hear what this means. And you start understanding that it's more than just, I want to fuck other people. Right. And honestly, I want to fuck other people is okay too. Like that's, those are, these are options as long as everybody in that relationship has agreed, I like this, I'm part of this, I'm comfortable with this, this is what I want to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what about you there, Dick? Well, I've, I've, I've never done a polyamorous relationship. The only times I've had the opportunity well i've had opportunities and i have to be attracted to everybody like that yeah. i just have to be because people talk about like beauty is only skin deep and mm-hmm. that's true but i don't want to have sex with things underneath your skin mm-hmm. i want to have sex with the top of your skin right yeah. and yeah. so the people i'm not physically attracted to are friends ah right so you're not attracted to me well i'm very and uh, i'm very offended I, <laughs> I'm trying yeah. every day not yeah. to fuck you, Chad. Oh, good, 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 good. Yeah. No, I was more about, I was wondering, like, at what point did you finally figure out, like, I mean, I guess we never truly find ourselves, but at what point were you comfortable with yourself? Like, like you know what, this is who I am and this is what I like. You well, mean your sexuality? Yeah, and sexuality. I was really late in my 30s because I had really? to go, well, I, remember, I'm, I've, spent the last year in college mm-hmm. uh, ex- examining the things that I should have been examining when mm-hmm. I was in college. Mm-hmm. And so I uh, I just kind of suppressed it or hid it or whatever for a long time, and at some point I just said, F it. Mm. Yeah. Well, like, I, I mean, I realized that uh, my sexuality, I, nothing too 
extreme with me, but I mean, I enjoy going down on women more than I enjoy getting, like, receiving pleasure from women. Amen. Yeah. So it's just that's my kink. Uh, I enjoy anal. Uh, it looks like you're confessing this to I, Diane. No, right I'm, now, I'm yeah. seeing his. I'm seeing his face full on right yeah. now, and I'm like, like this I, is the re- reparation of the marriage that's yeah. about to happen. I feel like we're in couples counseling <laughs> right couples now, counseling and we just need to look are. in each other's eyes while we do this and if say I were to things. wave a magic wand. <laughs> God, I hate that. Um, <laughs> what would your ideal situation be? Yeah. You know what? I, I think that's a good place for us to, to go ahead and end everything. Uh, I think Peter's looking up right now that uh, that what, what what Diane was asking about. Oh, no, no, no. no, I, no, I, no. I'm He's just, just, I'm just yeah. texting a partner. I, I, <laughs> is, your partner. Why is my phone buzzing? <laughs> yeah, yeah oh, I just he's, he's just like, I, I need to go eat some pussy right now. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's like, very who, difficult who's to, available? <laughs> yeah, it's very difficult to keep up with all of your partners, but we're going to go ahead and end it right there. Thank you very much for tuning in and watching, and please give us a like or uh, follow us on YouTube, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitch, yeah, Twitter, T- Twitter, all of those things. Facebook. You, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to email us at talkingsexlive at gmail.com. Please have a good night and keep it safe, sane, and consensual. Always stay sex positive. Have a good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.